Well, the story has a video to it. And there's a video uh, that was shared by Sean King of the Daily, uh, New York Daily News um, showing a police officer tasing uh, not only an unarmed black man, but a black man who was already in cuffs. Uh, I, want the I want the video to speak for itself. Let's watch the video. You might get that for me. Don't pull away. Do you get it? Do you get it? Yes, sir. Are you going to straighten up? Yes, sir. Because I ain't playing with you today. Do you understand? Do yes, you understand? Sir. Yes, sir. Now, we're going to get up. And if you saw the video, there's a full two minutes of the video. You can go into uh, Twitter or anywhere and find the full-length video. But you will see that this man is already in handcuffs. And it seems without any provocation, for no reason whatsoever, the police officer involved used his taser and tased him repeatedly uh, into submission, but he was already in handcuffs. Um, according to Sean King on Twitter, he said the officer in question uh, name is Sergeant James Young, and he is the primary officer, training officer, for the officer who killed Jordan Edwards. We reported uh, about two weeks ago on the murder of Jordan Edwards. Um, in this case, in the case of Jordan Edwards, charges have been filed. However, in the case of Sergeant James Young, um, this happened in April of 2016. And the uh, local officials, the department officials said in a statement on Tuesday that outside agencies have reviewed the video and the decision was made not to file criminal charges. And so they were able to look at this video of a man in handcuffs, already in custody, already following instructions, being tased with no threat to any of the officers around. Not, he's not a threat to himself. He was acquiescing to the demands of the police officers. And officials looked at this video and said, nothing to see here. No charges will be filed. Now, this happened last April, April 2016. The only reason this video got out to us was because it was leaked. It was leaked to a local news station, KDFW-TV, a Fox News affiliate, and that's the only reason it became public. And the only reason it gained attention and traction is because people like Sean King, with the reach that's necessary to expose these atrocities, was able to share it. But even in the midst of us being aware of it, there's nothing that's going to be done about it. And you have to ask yourself the question, at what point will we actually find justice in the United States of America when justice seems to be whatever America can justify? And so long as justice is whatever America can justify, they will be able to look at videos like this when the average American can see how ridiculous this is they will look at this and say, no charges are necessary. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you, I, I'm not sure what to do with this. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with this. I, I don't know. Maybe you could give me some advice. I'm not sure what to do with this because at what point are we going to be able to look at, what's the point? Somebody tell me, what is the point of having body cams and having dash cams when people can look at the same exact imagery and videos and see the same thing that we see and dismiss it as nothing, nothing warranting an investigation, nothing warranting an arrest, no charges, no suspension, nothing of any significance. And we would not have even known about it without someone leaking this out. If you can't understand the frustration of marginalized communities, I am not sure what is going to help you to identify with us, I, with it. I'm not sure what, what you have to see, but this is an ongoing issue. It hasn't stopped. It, has, it seems as though it has been escalating, but in reality, it may have just been revealed by the ubiquitous presence of cell phones and social media. These types of things have always gone on. We've been talking about it over and over and over again, and after a while, you get tired of talking about it because you can't remember the names anymore. That's, that's what I find myself running into every single episode that I do. I find myself not able to remember all of the hashtags, all of the names, 
all of the victims of people who have been brutalized or murdered by our American policing agencies. And in too many cases, we simply move along and say there's nothing to see here, there will be no charges, and justice has been served. Justice has not been served so long as justice is defined as whatever they can get away with.